What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. Let's talk a little about a little bit about inflation. So here was a post talking about the three inflationary waves of the 1970s. Okay, I believe that we're doing something a lot worse than the 70s. Um, now. According to the stats that we have for current CPI, they've taken away a lot of what actually makes up our everyday goods that we consume as consumers. And if we were to use the metrics back then, I've seen people say we'd be as high as 17 or so. (laughs) So blowing way past the inflation number they had back then. Anywho. Here in this, uh, with this source from Crest Capital, we see that there was three waves. And currently, as we speak, we're probably in that first wave. And you hear a lot of people say it's going to get much worse. So if we're in this first wave, I can't imagine what that second and third wave is going to be like. Can you just imagine? People are barely squeezing by as it is now. A second wave would decimate so many people, let alone a third. Boy, I tell you, it will not look pretty. So this is why you have to prepare. Like I said, 2022 is going to be a very pivotal year. And that preparation was going to be important of the essence. Here is a chart of U.S. consumer sentiment from the University of Michigan. And it goes all the way back to 1952. And ever since the start of this index of consumer sentiment, it has never been lower in its history. You see the 2008 great financial crisis right this is lower than that there was the 90 the 80 recession 73 75 again this is the lowest it's ever been since this chart uh, was started that goes to show you the levels at which we're at and you can feel that the economy is tightening You can sense it. And the charts are telling a story of what's happening. People are running up their credit cards. I've shown a chart before. And their savings are at all-time lows. Take this, for example. In the past two years, one group of people saw their wealth in, and their share of cash and deposits rise to the detriment of the majority. <laughs> and here you'll see, okay, so you have the top 2 to 10%, right? And this is going back all the way to 88, 1988. You have the top 1%, top 10 to 50%, and the top 10, 2 to 10, and the bottom 50%. If we look at 2020 and beyond, right? We see bottom 50% has gone down. So their deposits and the cash that they have has dropped. While the top 1% has drastically increased. See a parabolic curve. And you see the top 10 to 50% has also dropped. And top 2 to 10% has stayed relatively the same. But you see this massive increase in the top 1%. Here (laughs) is adequately or accurately encapsulated our situation. Right now, we see this, you know, pandemic that has been caused and has been a disaster. But what follows behind it is a catastrophe that people are not seeing in this adequately and accurately 
paints that picture. People are going to get demolished. Folks, this is not a laughing or, or, or a joking matter. This is serious. And to end this, I think this also is uh, a good point to bring up. He, This is Mac Ralph. He's interviewed with George Gammon before. He says, people are saying looking forward to a recession and big drop in real estate prices so I can scoop it all up. And he's saying, well, dude, if that happens, you'll be without a job with a decimated 401k and mortgage rates at 6% or more. <laughs> then he says, most likely you won't be able to, quote, scoop up, unquote, the real real estate market. <laughs> oh, man. So unless you have some good cash positions, you'll, you, you'll definitely be able to scoop some things up, pennies on the dollar. But a lot of people are going to be decimated. And uh, it's interesting this guy or this person says, sorry, but 6% is not scary. My first mortgage was 13% and I did just fine. It will be a good time to buy, especially cash. And he points out your house price was a fraction of today, though, which it's, he's accurate in, in saying so. So anyways, um, that's the news I have for you guys today. The charts tell a story, so share those charts. Use them for yourself, for your own reference. But this is what's happening in today's day and age, and prepare, folks. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. It's the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.